Hi everyone, my name is Pramod Vadkin from Informatica Global Customer Support and the topic for today's presentation is Clear Accelerator in Product 360. Agenda for today's presentation is installation of Python and machine learning libraries followed by Clear Server Setup and Configuration of Clear Service along with the AI Training and Clear UI Setup. So Clear is the AI based trademark from Informatica and is used to auto classify the product data using different models of machine learning. Benefits of using Clear are automated content enrichment, user guidance and recommendation. The first prerequisites for installing the Clear service is installation of Python and machine learning libraries. To install the Python, download the compatible version of Python and run the python executable file. We can verify the python version by running the python.exe file. Also to install the machine learning libraries, just run the script installation script.pat in which is present in the accelerator package. So to start up the Clare service, click on the startclare.pat file which is present in the accelerator package under server.ai folder. And you can verify this server is up and running by seeing the below lines in the command prompt. And also you can verify the health status of Clare application using the below REST API. So to configure the Clare's service, you can configure the file config.ini file which is present in the Clare accelerator package under server.ai folder. In this configuration file, you can set different parameters like authentication information, server paths, and port number. So to train the model, first you need to create an export template in order to define the data for training. And in the export template, you, you need to configure the post-processing step called classification training. This post-processing step will send the created file to the clear recommendation service, which will eventually train the model based on the provided data. So we have a standard out of the box export template for AI training which is present in the accelerator package based on the entity like item, product and variant. But we can also create the custom export template for AI training. So to start the AI training you just need to follow the below steps. So you need to click on the export profile and select the start training button. The export parameter configuration dialog box will open up. At this stage, you need to set the export parameter for executing the training. Post, click on finish button and wait until the training is successfully completed. You can verify the job details in the process overview. Once the job is completed, you can check the entry in the management menu called show clear models, which shows the all the trained modules and algorithm which are based on and their accuracy based on macro f1. So let's check the demo on how to perform an AI training and how to set up a clear UI in the flex UI of web client. To start the AI training, you need to create an export format template or you can use the out of the box export template for entities like item, products and variant. In this demo, I have used uh, item template and to start the training, you just need to right click on the uh, AI training item and then click on start training button. So once you click on the start training button, you will get the export parameter configuration dialog box where you need to set the uh, export parameters for this particular AI training. So you can select the catalog assortment and you can also select update assortment and version. So we have to set the variables like uh, ML approach, duration of the training and language and structure. So in ML approach, we, we have uh, deep learning and uh, natural language processing where deep learning is based on the decades of research in both uh, AI and technology of choice. And it requires at least 10 hours of training. And NLP approach uh, produces a module rooted in the classic techniques such as bag of words, etc and uh, these modules are similar and simpler when compared to the deep learning and it it trains much faster when compared to the deep learning so in this demo we are using deep learning technique and uh, when when you click on next you can select the execution time like uh, export immediately or schedule export or schedule export repeating 
and you can save the export file locally once you click on finish you can check the job detail in the process overview where uh, you can check the the duration of the job and uh, you can also verify whether the job has been completed successfully or not once the job is completed successfully you can verify the clear modules in the show clear module section and uh, you can verify the accuracy and which ml approach you are using to set the clear ui uh, we can use the predefined out of the box flex template provided in the accelerator package so you can go to manage ui template and the load ui templates from file and select the uh, any one of the flex ui template uh, in my demo i am using deep learning so i am using the deep learning uh, flex ui template and you need to provide the perspective and click on apply so once you click on apply you can verify the uh, flex ui template by logging into the web ui and you can select the item and open the flex ui template so here in the flex ui we can see that for an item there is already a clear recommendation provided that it should assign the i the item to the specified structure group let's say this particular item based on the short description so the clear provides a recommendation of uh, assigning this uh, item to the complete tripod st uh, structure group so if i click on apply this particular item is assigned to the structure group so from this approach you can uh, customize the uh, assignment of item to structure group using clear recommendation you can go through the accelerator document for more information we would love to hear your feedback on support videos at the rate informatica.com and uh, informatica twitter handle thank you